Hey guys, thanks for watching and happy 2018. Uh, me and my father, who's just off camera, we backpacked to the top of the mountain behind my house and we have kind of like a, a ravine and down below is meadows. Uh, that's typically where I shoot most of my videos. What we plan on doing is doing a little bit of coyote hunting tonight, at least for the next few hours until it gets too dark. Um, we walked up to the hillside, we're gonna shoot down below and uh, we ranged the area where we have an opening where we can get some shots off and it's going to be anywhere from 400 to 600 yards so i need a steady platform to shoot off of which brings me to the issue of shooting prone out of the snow i don't think a lot of people on youtube talk about it and i thought it'd be a good conversation piece to, to spark conversation with you guys to see how you guys would would go about it i know a lot of you guys don't live in the north you don't probably don't see a whole lot of snow but some of you must and uh if you're like me and you like to backpack, carry your rifle, and uh, shoot from random areas, just range your target, dial, and try to make a first round hit. That's how I get my enjoyment out of shooting, um, similar to hunting coyotes or something like that. But I also have to be able to get steady, get a good position, and be able to shoot um, prone. You could bring a, bip or a tripod or something like that and prop your rifle up, but it's added weight to your, to your hike and uh, you want to keep your weight down uh, otherwise it's it's going to be a miserable time so i try to get multiple uses out of my gear that i bring with me i try to bring just the necessities one of the main things you're going to need is a bag to carry your stuff and i want to talk kind of about this bag here this is just a condor pack but why i like it is because i get most multiple uses out of the bag itself uh, it's it's big enough to carry my bolt action rifles uh, it protects them from crappy weather it also has backpack straps so I can carry this over my shoulders while we're hiking uphill I can keep my hands free in case I fall or typically I'll walk with walking sticks and it keeps my hands open it's a it's a big added benefit to be able to do that especially in crappy weather like this another thing that's important is bipods and being able to get some sort of somehow to prop your rifle up out of the snow to be able to actually use the bipod properly you could extend in two feet of snow you could you could extend your bipod feet all the way down put your rifle into the snow and it falls all the way down through and now your barrels rested in the snow so somehow you have to prop that rifle up out of the the snow itself in order to be able to shoot prone so that's what i want to talk about this bag here also opens up into what i would consider a shooting mat it's not ideal it's not the full length that i am but it covers the main part of my body to keep me up out of the snow and keep me somewhat warm in crappy conditions like this so uh, typically I'll keep my my from my neck to my mid shins on the mat my feet will hang off which means that my rifle is gonna have to be out out of front ahead of me I could use the mat for my rifle but that means that I have to lay in the snow and I really don't want to do that so I want to show you just something simple I keep in my pack for shooting in the snow like this also the BT-24 bipod feet or cleats. I'm gonna set the rifle up and I'm gonna shoot. This is where we're shooting from. So I'm gonna set my stuff up right here. All right guys, hopefully you can hear me. It's getting a little bit windy out here, but I wanna show you my little setup. I got my shooting mat or my, my case opened up. It's gonna give me a place to lay down on and keep my body out of the cold. Also, I carry the bare minimums. I carry my Kestrel and a waterproof couch, uh, pouch. Also my range finder and obviously some ammo. Another thing I carry with me that's pretty important is a simple piece of wood. This is a one by three maybe, maybe a little bit smaller. You could cut this even shorter if you wanted to, to limit even more weight, but this is pretty light itself. And what it gives me the ability to do is put it into the snow here and build myself a base to put my bipod on. Now I have a, a steady shooting platform out of the snow. If I take this off and just put my rifle down, oh, it'll break. It'll break right through the snow itself. So that little piece of wood is gonna give me the option to be able to make a, make a shot or not make a shot. All right guys, these here are the BT-24 bipod feet I was talking about. You can get pretty good uh, a lot more barren surface with these feet than you typically would with the standard Atlas bipod feet. So these work pretty well in ice snow conditions, not so much in summer conditions because when they, they fall, they bite and they sit crooked and you don't get the full contact of the feet on the ground. 
I think Atlas needs to do a little bit to correct the, uh, the swivel motion of these, and then these would be pretty awesome feet. The small piece of wood I could sit on the ground, and now with these bipod feet, I could basically use that to create a good shooting position and still be able to load the bipod like I would at the range, which consistency is going to get me accurate hits down range. So without that piece of wood, this shot wouldn't be possible. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, if you guys have any questions, just ask them in the comment section. Uh, thank you to all the new subscribers. I got to be quiet or I'm never going to get a coyote. So thanks a lot. Uh, have a great day.